Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface on the beta for Warlords of Draenor with another Garrisons 101 video. In this series of videos, I bring you the various buildings which you can construct within your garrison, I show you the utility that they offer and also their worth, and allow you to make a decision on whether or not it deserves a place within yours. Today, I'm going to be showing you the storehouse, the final small building that I've yet to bring you. And the storehouse I'm classing as a convenience building, and I'll get to that in a moment. At level one, it will allow you access to your own personal bank and increase the number of work orders for every building by five. At level two, you'll gain access also to your guild bank, and at level three, you'll gain access to an ethereal trader that will offer both void storage and transmogrification, and it also increases the number of work orders for every building by 15. It's also really cheap to construct, only costing 50 garrison resources, 150 gold, and of course, that obligatory hour of your time. When it has been finished, you will have a quest waiting for you, just like most other buildings. In this case, to run around your garrison, finding five crates of surplus materials. So why do I call this a convenience building? Well, the simple fact of the matter is, it's a building you don't actually need to have in your garrison at all. If you do have it, it is for nothing other than convenience sake. If you wanted to go to your bank or guild bank, all you have to do is fly across to the capital city hubs, which are in Ashran. If you want to use transmog or void storage, you either go through to Stormwind or for the transmog, you may have also purchased the mount in Missa Pandaria and the vendor on there will allow you to use the transmogrification. As for the work order increase, work orders don't stack. You can only create one work order at a time and they take four hours apiece. So it doesn't matter if you can have 20 work orders or 35 work orders. It will still simply be queued up with the rest of them. All you have to do is make sure that you're on top of your work orders at all times. That said, of course, convenience is, well convenient. If I do have to go through to Ashran, Stormwind, or Grimmar to access Void Storage, Transmog, or Guild, or regular banks, then it takes up time. And it's time which of course will be vetoed by simply having this building here. Now moving it to level 2, again just like everything else, you can either get the blueprint through leveling up and having it as a quest reward, or by purchasing from the blueprint vendor. It costs 100 garrison resources and 300 gold, as well as that hour with which to upgrade. Pushing it to level two will open up the guild bank, as well as your regular bank. You can see that there's a little aesthetic change going on now. There's more barrels and crates and such scattered around the place. Now, I didn't have time to get this building to level three, simply because the achievement required with which to do so. If I wanted to get the level three blueprint, I would have had to have looted 10,000 gold in Draenor. No other place but Draenor. And with everything that I was doing on the beta, lots of questing, lots of grinding, I only managed to accumulate 1,272 gold looted, and that's through a pretty substantial amount of time. There was a reset which wiped out a fair bit of my gold, but still, 1,272 gold in about let's say six to eight weeks wasn't very encouraging so it is going to be a massive task to push it to level three and what does level three bring you well it brings you the void storage and the transmogrification vendors that's all it would actually bring so the convenience level of that seems to rather diminish the convenience level of the building it's great to have to just simply dump stuff off and pick stuff up but other than that, to be quite honest with you, it doesn't really serve that much of a purpose. Work order wise, access to guild banks, access to personal banks, things like that are still on your doorstep in Ashran and your major capital cities. And with your garrison hearthstone being available every 20 minutes or so, is it that much of a disruption? I don't particularly think so. I believe its spot can definitely be taken up by another profession building or something which will have a lot more utility for you. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. 
follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Those links are just down below in the description. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.